Welcome to one more episode of Free Thoughts. Enjoy your trip. Why some people are creative. This is my idea. One of my many ideas. Hope you take value from it. One person can be very creative because somehow it learned that the main path it didn't. Sorry, not it didn't. The main path did not gave him a reward. The person got rewarder, rewarded by the peripherals, the sideways, not by going through the norm, not going by through the nucleus that people put as the definition of some specific word, for example. So looking at the word joint, the person is not only looking at a little small dense definition of joint, just the nucleus of it, which is like the definition into words. It can be a literal form or, uh, well, jointing in the way that I'm jointing in a straight line two bottles of water. This is really interesting because the person that is more creative, it is more prone to look at the peripheral definitions and associations of jointing. So, well, if one person only sees jointing as literally jointing one into each other and jointing into the sense that jointing in the straight line, well, then it will be more harder to be creative and create a third new bottle that has more stylish design. So, to create a third bottle, the person should look in different ways to join these two bottles. As if somebody told them to join and they have to follow these instructions, for example. So, a more creative person will see far beyond that nucleus of definitions, of words that it is the norm. Because crea being creative is that, right? It is creating things that are outside the norm. Otherwise, they won't be creative if the creative things will be the norm, right? For example, in inventing Uber Eats. That was creative some years ago. Today is not creative. It's just one more app. So, con so back to the joint example. The creative person will see ways to join by their world in the, in the peripheral ways of the definition of the world. The word joint. I'm sorry, I didn't want, I didn't mean to say world, but word. So they think like this. Okay, no, guys, you are doing everything completely wrong. To join these two bottles and create a third bottle, you can use the top of these, I'm sorry, the bottom, I don't want to say the top, the bottom of these bottle and jointing with the top of this bottle, which is also uh, gray, in gray color. So now we have an elegant touch of a third water bottle that starts with a bigger bottom and ends with a uh, elegant and uh, finer um, hemp, hemp of the bottle. So uh, it continues and goes on and on. The person can even say in the middle, we let the black uh, dominate and on the sideways up here and down here, we use green. And in the middle, we are going to make it more uh, small so maybe the person can grab with their uh, two or three fingers the water bottle so it can drink more easier well and that's a different way of looking to the joint word and I think it's a very interesting and useful one so I think that's an interesting example they think creatively uh, they have a lot more all outside associations of the norm. So if the norm is here, they will see here and a lot more. 
we have more associations attached to their meanings. As an example, I hope this idea was useful to you. Maybe you can identify that on yourself. Maybe you can see some people that are like this. Send them this video. Thank you. Remember that you can enter on my educational platform, School for Adults, where you can get all the wisdom you need to master your behavior and become more intellectual. Also, take the opportunity to buy my recentest book, How to Create a Second Brain, The Secret to 21st Century. Available on Amazons throughout the world. Thank you so much, and as always, good luck.